Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I have my December TBR for you all. I am so excited. It's the last month of this year because that means this year will be over. And I know that doesn't mean that all the bad things are gonna stop next year, but having a goal is good. And my goal is for this year to end. So, in doing that, I picked some books that I am really excited to read this month that I'm hoping will just help me end this year on a good note, at least in my reading life, if nothing else. <laughs> well, let's just jump right in. The first book I have that I'm really excited to read is The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. So I picked this up on the shelf in my store and I just kind of started reading the back and I was like this sounds amazing I'm buying it so it's about a girl who lives in this magical kingdom and her kingdom has been taken over by an enemy empire basically and so her sister who is the new crown princess queen something like that has to send her to marry the, the ruler of this empire in order to make peace for their kingdom, the their like spiritual like symbol was the crow and the, the invading empire had killed all of them. So before she actually has to go, she finds the last known crow egg and decides to raise it for herself. So it just sounds really interesting. I'm really into the storylines of oppressed people fighting back for their power right now. As you can see, I've been loving In Ember and the Ashes this year, and I started Right Queen, which I'm loving too. So I feel like this is just another one that I'm really gonna enjoy, and I'm really, really excited. The next book I have here is a recommendation from my friend Erin from Booked and Busy, and that is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. So, I don't really remember what this is all about, let's see. So it's about a girl who is really into fan fiction and cosplay and one day she posts this really awesome outfit from this show she really loves and she wins a date with the big time star of that show. And from there, shenanigans ensues. That's what I'm getting from the synopsis, that's where I'm going with it. Yes, but it sounds interesting. I love a good romance. It sounds cute. I love fan fiction, so we're going with it. Next book I have is a sequel because I'm working on finishing off series that I've started because it's a weird habit that I've developed where I don't finish things. I, do, I don't know why, but it's just there. But it's Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I'm really enjoying the Red Queen series, so I figured it would be a good time to pick up the second book while it's still fresh in my mind and I'm still loving it and go from there. I'm nervous because I don't know what to expect and I'm just ready to see what happens next. The next book I grabbed because I wanted to read a cute little contemporary and it is When Dibu Met Rishi by Sonia Manan. This I know is already a Netflix movie TV show and I am looking forward to watching that but I definitely want to read the book first because it sounds adorable. It's about a girl named Dimple who doesn't really want to date. She doesn't want to give in to her family's idea of matchmaking. She just wants to go to school and get her degree and everything like that and so her family sends her to this camp and without them telling her they set her up on a potential marriage match and they send the match to camp with her and so 
from there, I'm assuming cuteness and shenanigans ensues, and this sounds really, really good, so I'm excited. So the next book I have here is Scars Like Wings by Erin Stewart. I have been really wanting to read this book for about a year now. It's about a girl who lost everything in a fire, and she has scars all over her face. And so she basically has to decide whether she's going to let her scars define her or if she's going to really try and break out and be who she wants to be. And I'm just really excited to read this. It sounds super, super good, and I'm ready for some touching things to happen, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. And the next book I have is another sequel because I'm on a roll, and that is Arch Enemies by Mar Marissa Meyer. I loved Renegades, so I really, 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 really want to read this before the year ends, or at least just like, sometime soonish so I can move on to the third one and then finish another trilogy and be awesome. If you don't know what Renegades is about, it, it takes place in a world that is split by the anarchists, which is the villains, and the renegades, which is the superheroes. And you follow the perspective of two people on opposite sides. So you have Nova, who is an anarchist. She was raised by the anarchists. And you have Adrian, who was raised by the renegades. And so Nova is trying to get revenge because of things that happened in her past. So she takes it upon herself to create a plan. And in doing so, she meets Adrian and their paths cross and from there, intriguing things happen. You really get the viewpoints of the complexities behind the idea of superheroes and supervillains, and I really, really love that. So I'm definitely excited to see what happens next in this one. And then the last book I have, the last but not least, the greatest I have <laughs> on this list is one I do not have in my hands yet because it's not out yet, and that is A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. I am so ready for this book. I'm going to cry, I'm going to scream, and everything in between because I know it's going to wreck me. With the way the third book ended, things are just going crazy. And I know that it's gonna start with craziness and probably end with craziness, but who knows? So yeah, I feel like I have a lot of high energy today. This is why this video seems maybe chaotic at least. I have no idea, but we're going with it. So. This is my December TBR. Hopefully I enjoy it. I really just need some joy right now. <laughs> if you like the video, please give it a good old thumbs up down below. If you have any comments, please leave that in the comment section down below. Let me know what you'll be reading this month. I'm nosy and I like to know everybody's TBRs. And if you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. Leave me a little snowman emoji because I love winter and Christmas and that whole season. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're awesome flowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.